In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Panasonic GH5's recent firmware upgrade. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the continuous autofocus in video. Panasonic claims that it can compete directly against its greatest rival, so we're gonna pit it up against the Sony system, which most people agree is the best on the market right now. Let's see how it does, yeah. Greetings, fellow human. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Baron. Let's talk about the Panasonic GH5 firmware update doohickey thing. Now, I don't want this video to be like three hours long, so I'm not going to test every single setting that you can use to adjust the autofocus in the GH5. I'm just going to leave it to the default settings that it comes with with the firmware update. So the sensitivity and the speed will be set to zero or default or whatever. I'm also not going to test every single tracking mode that is available on the GH5. I'm going to focus specifically on the face tracking as well as the single area focusing mode. Now, single area in times past has performed better than face tracking. So those two systems, I'm going to compare them against each other with the GH5 and compare all of that against the focusing system in the Sony a6400. Let's do it. Yeah. First up, we got the single area versus face tracking GH5 versus GH5. On the left, we've got the face tracking and on the right, the single area down at the bottom of each frame, you're gonna see that handicap parking sign. And so you can see exactly how bad the pulsing and searching in the background is. I chose the handicap sign, by the way, because the searching and pulsing in the background is the greatest handicap of the GH5's autofocus system. If you take a look, you can see that the face tracking is working pretty well, but the single area is still better and has less search. Next up is the GH5's face tracking versus the Sony A6400. I have the Sony A6400 on the right side of your screen, and on the left side of the screen is the GH5. I put the GH5 on the left side because I anticipate that it will be left in the dust. Get it? That was pretty bad. Sorry. Now, as you can see, the GH5 is actually keeping up fairly well as far as keeping focus. It is not nearly as accurate as that Sony. The Sony system is not perfect, but it is like, whoa, the autofocus light is shining down upon us. It is We are basking in its autofocus glory. Whereas the GH5 is kind of like, yeah, well, I, I do some of this uh, focusing stuff. It's, it's cool, it's, it's all right. The, the pulsing in the background of the GH5 is very distracting there. And it does take a little bit longer to reacquire focus if it's lost it on the GH5 than the Sony. However, I am noticing, as some other people have also pointed out, that the when it does reacquire focus, it does seem to be a little bit more smooth and cinematic looking with the GH5 and the Sony kind of snaps right in there. But I think that's partially to do with the plane of focus here because the Sony is, is a much more narrow uh, plane of focus so there's it's you know blurred out the background quite a bit more so it's moving the glass in the lens faster than the GH5. Now we have the single area autofocus mode for the GH5 versus the Sony a6400. Right off the bat here this a6400 had a little bit of trouble but it found and acquired focus very quickly. The GH5's single area uh, continuous autofocus mode has been historically more accurate than the face tracking and it looks like it is still keeping up really well here. Uh, it is a little limiting because the subject has to be dead in the center of the uh, little box there in order for it to acquire the focus, and, but it does acquire the focus quickly. It looks like a little quicker than the Sony, actually. But that pulsing in the background, it's like, it's like there's a disco dance going on back there. It's like, like makes me want to put on some checkered pants, you know, get some crazy flashing lights and do the GH5 autofocus pulsing dance. But the, but the Sony here is super smooth, super smooth. It, but it's not. It really isn't perfect. I've seen a. It, it's had a. It's had some struggles here. Like check this out. It uh, why did why did the Sony lose it there? The the GH5 actually has it, and but the, you know Sony did reacquire it. So the the Sony is is really good, but it is not perfect. And the GH5 is well, it does things. And uh, actually, this with this little running test there, or jogging, I didn't really run. 
the, uh, the GH5 held up really well. And uh, apparently with the Sony, it doesn't like to do that going backwards. That's what you like. Okay, so a lot of people like to do the vlogging thing. So I've set up your typical vlogging sort of setup here with the GH5. I've got a gorilla pod, uh, so I can hold it out a little bit farther away from me. So it's not all up in my grill, like, wah, that sort of thing. So uh, I've got it set. Well, I also have a shotgun microphone on the top here. It's the SMX 15 by Asden. I did a review of that too. I'll put the thing up there if you want to see that guy. Now, this particular uh, settings that I have on the GH5 right now, I have the single area autofocus set to the center of the frame. So in order for this to work, I've got to keep my head in the middle of the frame here. So, but now because I'm looking at the lens and not at the monitor, I'm just kind of estimating on whether or not I'm in the middle. I can kind of see off to the side here in my peripheral vision, whether or not that is the case, but I'm looking at the lens. So that's, you know, vlogger life, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, so this is probably not the easiest way to do this. Uh, the face eye detection would probably work a little bit better as far as that goes. However, with face eye detection, uh, doesn't perform as well as the single area for the GH5. So this seemed like the better approach and it might actually work. So if it does work, then you'd be all like, yay, I can, I can vlog with my GH5 finally. Or you might be super angry and be like, it's still not good enough. I'm gonna take my camera and throw it in a river. Or, oh, you, no, don't actually throw it in a river. That would be horrible. That, that would be, don't, don't throw your camera in a river. I shouldn't have said that. So looking at back at this footage, it looks like the GH5 autofocus has significantly improved since its original release a couple years ago. I mean, there have been a couple of firmware updates, you know, incremental firmware updates that improved it here and there. But uh, at this point with this final two, uh, this 2.6, I believe, this firmware, it actually, it does a pretty decent job. It looks like the only thing that is keeping the GH5 from really competing against the Sony autofocus system is that contrast detection system that they're stuck with. I mean, Panasonic just refuses to do uh, phase detection on their sensors. So, I mean, that's their choice, I suppose, but it really, I think it is really hurting them. A lot of people are choosing other systems just because of that, whether they use autofocus or not, because, you know, marketing. So I guess that brings me to the final verdict from all of my tests. Is the GH5 autofocus system as good as the Sony autofocus system? No, not at all. I mean, like I said, it's a lot better, but it, it just does, it does not compete. And I know there's good, that's gonna make some people upset. They really, I mean, I really wanted it to be like significantly better, but you know, don't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just the messenger here. You, you saw the results. You can't blame me for the results, man. I'm just a messenger. Don't, don't be hating. If you like this video, do the thing where the thumb goes up. If you did not like this video, do the thing where the thumb goes down and then you know, be prepared because an army of gnomes is going to just like break into your house while you're sleeping and they're gonna kick you in the shins because you deserve it for thumbs downing things. Psh, weirdo. If you wanna see more videos like this one, go ahead and do the subscribey thing and you gotta ring the bell, you gotta ring it. Bing! And that is everything I got for you today. So go ahead and take your camera, whatever camera it may be, take it out into the world and go make some awesomeness. Yeah.